today is the day that I get to unbox the big bi-monthly Planner Society kit for March and it also includes a B6 Traveller's Notebook which everyone who subscribed to the January kit receives in, receives in March. So here's the March kit in its huge bag which is this wide and the March washi kit doesn't have a sticker on it this month but that's okay saves me having to take the sticker off and this is the B6 Traveler's Notebook that everyone subscribing for January received it's cute okay we'll just open this cover so the first thing I notice is that there's actually six strings in it, which is really good because that saves me making a jump band. So there are six strings because there are four holes there. So it has one of Christie's cute little girls on the cover. And just for comparison, I have here the B6 Traveller's Notebook, which is a slightly different design, which I think Christy still has in her shop online and I'm just going to compare them so perhaps you can see here the new cover is about a centimeter wider and about half a centimeter taller so about quarter of an inch taller and about half an inch wider than this cover here. I like this cover here though, it's um, a really soft one and it has lots of pockets. So that's available in her shop at the moment and this is the cover that we've just received. I believe this is just an exclusive but there may well be extras that will be for sale, I don't know. Inside there's just the two pockets like this. So that's the B6 Traveller's Notebook cover. Love it! Oh, just so you can see a comparison of the girls on the front. This one here is the cover I've just received with this girl. And this is the cover that I purchased from Christie's shop. So it's this girl here. Okay, we'll put those to the side. Now we'll have a look at the March kit. I'll just put the washi kit to the side and we'll look at that last. We'll open up this bag. And I think I'll just tip everything out. The first thing I'm greeted with is this sticker book. So let's, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> let's have a look at the sticker book. So this is a plastic cover that's been printed on it with the design that coordinates with this month's kit. It has a little spot here where you could put a sticker or write to say what you have in here. And then there's a whole heap of clear pages to pop stickers or die cuts or whatever you fancy inside. I think this is great. I haven't bought any of the Planner Society sticker books, so it's great to receive one in the kit. Um, that'll be fun to fill. I think what I might do is actually just pre-print a sticker and pop it on front of the swan. I mean this one's cute but swans aren't really me. So here's all the other goodies. So the first thing I'll do is just open the paper so we can have a look at the patterns and colours for this kit. The first paper is a gorgeous blue. I really like the soft blue in the background so that's a floral print. And on the reverse of that, there's a black and white geometric pattern. And there's a daintier floral print with a white background. There's a bit of a close-up so you can see the colours. 
and on the reverse of that the swans I like the blue to be perfectly honest I'm not a huge fan of such a repetitive close pattern um, particularly swans I don't know why just that's just me um, and then the last paper is a pink floral and on the reverse of that a more stylized floral with a purple black and white so these look like the colors that we're dealing with this month and then we've got vellum there's a swan vellum with a rose gold foil on it not sure if you can capture the light there but there's a rose gold dot amongst the swan there's a there's a floral vellum which also has rose gold on the main flower there's a floral acetate and the geometric pattern in a rose gold foil as an acetate that might actually be my favorite from the paper so far and then there's this paper here with the laser cut edging and that's in a purple and it's double sided so it's purple on both sides So they are the papers for the kit. With the other items in the kit, I think we'll just work our way down the pile. So the first thing is this charm, a fabric bow charm. There's a little chain extender for it. Then it has the little lobster claw on here, a delicate purple colour and there's a pearl and a swan hopefully you can see those there a pearl and a swan little dangly charms dangling off the bottom of there then there's a wide paper clip there's a swan and various beads and so on so you can pop that in the bottom of your planner like so and it can dangle out of the bottom like that um, also in that bag there's another little dangle charm so there's a lobster clip here with the little dangly swan and so on on it and then there's a little extender chain on that so there's the swan and other little dangly shiny bits There's a pen, so the pen's white this month and there's a little extra dangler on it which is also the swan which is removable. Um, inside it there are small sequins, you can see in there and there's a floral pattern on the barrel of it. Hopefully that's it for swans. These look cute. I love the colour of the ribbon actually. I'll definitely be reusing that. So there's a little sticky notepad which is like in the shape of a tea canister. And then there's a larger notepad which is a house. So they're super cute. I like them. There are the tabs for the month. So they all have a scalloped foil around here where you put the words and there's different patterns of those which will match the paper. Eight tabs in total and then these are the words to put on the tabs. And there are three of those. There are the two that we've received for ages. 
well for a long time there's been these two pages and then this is a page that was new this year that has the months and the days and so on on it. Um, I like having this one but I am a bit sad we only get one each of these as I did like to put one on each side of the tab so when you're inside the planner you can actually see on the reverse side of the tab what that tab is signifying. So I'm okay at the moment because I have some from older kits that I can also use but it would be quite nice to get a sticker for each side of the tab but maybe other people weren't using those. Then we've got the stickers that are in the kit. It's quite a plain bag this time. It's a white bag just with a small bit of floral on it here. This is the first sticker. I love the little doll's house there. I like these houses. So there's houses and swans and flowers. There's tea and other little decorative elements, the teacups. The words in hollow. And, oh these are cute, strips. So like little washi strips with bows on them that match the pattern of the kit. So four sheets of stickers. Uh, next thing are the die cuts. There's quite a bulging bag of die cuts here. The house, which I love. Love this die cut. That's the little doll's house with all the little furniture inside. That's cute. So these are the die cuts for the month. There's a lot of them. They're all in the same soft colour palette. So there seems to be a theme of sort of swans, houses and tea. So we'll just move those off to the side and have a little look at the quote cards. So we've got Weeds of Flowers too. once you get to know them. There is nothing in nature that blooms all year long, so don't expect yourself to do so either. Like wild flowers, you must allow yourself to grow in all places people thought you never could. A flower does not think of competing to the flower next to it. It just blooms. I believe in you. Words that water flowers. There are always flowers for those who want to see them. So they are the quote cards and they all have a subtle background floral on them. The next thing are adhesive pockets. I love these adhesive pockets. I like getting these in kits. I find adhesive pockets really useful. I mean you can easily make your own pockets but these ones are always good. So as per usual they're in the two sizes. So there's the small pocket and it has adhesive background and then it has the scallop top on it. So it's the small pockets and two of the, oh that's unfortunate, two of the larger pockets. I think that's okay. I think it's just a, got a little bit of extra plastic on it. 
but I think the pocket itself is sealed at the bottom, so that's lucky. I think that just slipped down a little bit in the cutting process, maybe. So there's four adhesive pockets, so that's very good. And these look super cute. This is a new type of product this month. These are cute. So these are houses in two different sizes. There's the smaller size, and it's a sort of a laminated cardstock. It's just single sided and you have two of those and then two more see-through acetate houses. So they're the small houses and then you have the same with larger houses. So there are eight houses altogether, four in the smaller size which is good for a pocket planner and four in the larger size which is good for B6 and they're single sided. They'll be perfect for page markers, bookmarks, all sorts of things. Love them. And the houses are cute. The next thing are these adhesive glitter bow tabs. So these are joined here to fold over and become a tab. So they're in a purple and in the same purple there are these scalloped edging which you can put on anything, dividers, dashboards, just decorative on pockets, all sorts of things. It's a new product uh, that the Planner Society have been doing of late and it is fun to craft with. Then there's a big sheet of puffy stickers. Some of these stickers are really cute like the houses and the teacups. So I like using puffy stickers in my traveler's notebooks. I don't mind dimension on the dashboards of my traveler's notebooks, but certainly not in my other planners. And then there are these stickers, which are clear stickers, which are a little bit dimensional. And that's a big sheet of those clear stickers. Then there are these page toppers. So the page toppers need little bits just pushed out of them, not all the little bits of cardstock always come out of them. But you just push them out like that, it's pretty easy to push out. So there's notes, month, week, today, lists different toppers and then we've got them in this, it's a purple, we've got them in this purple colour as well, the same five. So there are those. And the last thing that's in the planner kit is the washi. It's actually cute. It's quite a delicate little floral washi. Matches the bag that the entire kit came in. That's a cute washi. Okay, so that's the kit for March. And then I've just also got the add-on washi kit. I love the blue of this bag that the washi kit's in. I'll definitely be reusing this for something. And this is the washi in the add-on kit. So there's a thin 5mm, which is the black and white geometric pattern. There's a 10mm, which is the pink floral. This swan and bow looks like 15mm. And then the wide washi is the purple floral, like the paper. But it's quite nice with that add-on washi that there are three of the main colours of the kit in a washi. I quite like that. And when you see it with the washi from the kit, they all definitely work together. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. And please subscribe for more planner videos. Bye!